Right, so just found a really common fungi they find all over the place in the woods. Um, and it's, it's really common and it could be mistaken for another pretty common edible mushroom called the puffball, Lycoperdum pilatum. Um, this is an earth ball and this is poisonous. And so they look superficially similar, but it's really worth kind of learning the differences between the two. So unlike puffballs, earth balls sit right on the ground like this. They just sat there. There's no real stem or stipe holding them up from the ground. They sit right on the ground and that's why they're called earth balls. They also, there are ones that exist on wood as well or near to wood, so you've got to be a bit careful, but they won't have a stem. And that's the first really identifying feature. So if I pull one up like this, you'll see that it's got no stem, it's just gone straight into the ground and there's the mycelial bit connecting to the ground. So that's the first identifying feature. Um, they can look quite different. In, there's a few different versions of earth balls and there's a few different versions of puff balls as well. So they can vary quite a lot in terms of colour and this one has got this kind of flaky um, scales on top and that you could easily mistake that for what you get on puffballs as an identifying feature, the little the little kind of like almost like polystyrene bits you get on puffballs. But on earthballs, they're generally a bit off coloured. They generally have this kind of slight yellowish tinge to it. But again, with puffballs, as they get a bit older, they can do the similar sort of thing. They work in the same way. So they, they get older and older and older and then they, go, they kind of dry out and become hollow. And then what happens is, a little hole will appear in the top and you know uh, even a raindrop will just land on it and it will puff and that's how it distributes its spores so they work in the same way as uh, as puffballs which are edible but they sit straight on the ground like this with no stem that's a really important identifying feature the other identifying feature is, is when you cut them open and this is why i don't really understand why people get themselves poisoned with this because with puffballs with common puffballs which you can eat uh, and the other puffballs, you would only eat them when they're pure white all the way through. That's the only time they are edible. So even with a normal puffball, if they start to change colour inside and the spores start to produce, goes goes yellow, greeny, dark, and then a very almost black um, inside, you wouldn't eat them at that point because they taste disgusting and they're also starting to spore. Um, so you'd only ever eat a, 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 a puffball when it was pure white all the way through. And Earth balls, one of their main distinguishing features is that they are never pure white all the way through. In fact, they are quite distinctly black inside. So these, this is starting to produce spores now. You can see it's going powdery and that will eventually just turn into just a billions of spores and they'll puff up. But it's, it's always dark inside. It'll never be pure white all the way through. So that's the main identifying feature. If you, if you get a, something that looks like a puffball, always chop it open to make sure it's not an earth ball. Earth balls will be black or, or very dark inside. And even if it was a, pu a, a puff ball, which is edible, if it was like that inside and it was starting to turn into spores, you wouldn't want to eat it anyway. So um, yeah, there you are. That'll save you from a common form of poisoning for mushroom hunters. Earth balls, poisonous, puff balls, edible.